you've got pressure at school, you've got peer pressure, pressure to look good. Pressure will be drugs. <laughs> Anything to do with school <laughs> uni, <laughs> yeah, and studying and keeping up to keep on top of everything. Yeah. Kids seem to be getting dr into drugs a lot, really, really young. It's just stupid. I think also, like, Glasgow's quite bad for being image, about image and mm. what you're wearing. Nowadays, uh, 14 year olds would rather run about taking drugs than playing pogs and tazos. I'm 17 and up. I don't know if I should say, I, obviously I go clubbing, right? At the, at the end of the club and there's, there's always cocaine going about. And I, I see people my age and girls young, younger than me that go, get into the club would also start taking cocaine and stuff, which is not a pretty sight. You've got commercial pressure. There's all different kinds of pressures. There's things like people's health. If you're, if you're a bit heavy, you might be skinny, things like that. I think it's just uni stresses. I think coming up to fourth year as well, it's because the media industry is so competitive. The pressure on young kids, it's like, it's like the minute you get to high school, it's like, right, how many birds have you been? Oh, I've been with this amount of birds. There's no need for it. You know what I mean? Nowadays, you, know, you get 12 year olds having sex. It's, it's crazy. Like, anything to do with like your image, like oh, self image and your confidence. That's something that obviously being at Bolt has helped me with my confidence and stuff. Being able to talk into a mic to all these people. And I think there's a lot of pressure. The way they look, but at the same time, the way you look and everything is so important now. The way makeup, like twelve year old, I think it's far too young. I just think the celebrities are really are, have a big, huge impact on what's been happening. And you, you've got like, kids at 13, 14, pregnant, run about with sexual diseases and stuff. It's like a bit of a taboo subject, like weight and all that. But obviously, it's really it's something that everything, everyone, I think, is a little bit annoyed about. The other question that comes to me is. Do they actually know what sex is these days? Do they get taught well enough? You know what I mean? It's sort of getting that wee sex education lesson at school when you're 13, 14 and showing how to pack a condom and a banana, but that doesn't do MD any good. They still struggle. I think the media push a lot of sex on young people as well. You look at some of the music videos that are out there these days, it's really ridiculous. You get Rihanna and Britney Spears and stuff. Young kids, 13, 14, 15, idolise these people and they're jumping about Britney Spears and her. Maybe one more thing, she's jumping about with a shirt on that barely covers her breasts and you're... Something I don't talk about which happened last year is I got really stressed and I ended up with an eating disorder, I don't even know if Chloe knows this, but it was a, it was a really, really horrible time and I was, but I thought that I'd be happier but if I was thinner so I thought well, that's fine I'll do that but I was really, really unhappy. That I think that's another thing because we're good friends and um, it helps, like we talk to each other about things and and we get to laugh at we'll it get to all, laugh. just we'll be like, it's up. okay, just it's laugh. Okay. Let's just laugh. <laughs> It'll be yeah. fine in the end. My money situation is to say that since I left school, I've been seeing a different side of life. And Simple as you've got gang culture there. You've got kids running about with big steakies and you've got kids running about with bats. It's, there's no need, it's no good. And gang pressures. Uh, I don't know, me, I live in Royston, which is not a pretty place if you're from another country. Definitely with the knife crime in Glasgow and uh, the whole of Scotland, to be honest. Knife crime and the fighting crime is, is unreal. Going home from town after hanging about with my people, I get cans thrown at me and stuff. And it was like MTV was a big thing when it started, but now you could probably say it's maybe it's a downfall for young guys and young girls because all they see in music videos you think when it's right and you've got gangsters rolling up beside shooting people. It's, I don't want to look like it. I'm scared. You need to turn around and you need to say something, but at the same time you know they're, they've got something in their sleeves as well, man, so. A lot of people bottle it up and just mm. then they just explode or something yeah. like that. In fact, most of them, my friends have been chased with knives. There's a lot about the kind of hard main image of like Glasgow and Scotland, but... Nearly, nearly stabbed. Talking more about rap scene is, but it's the whole thing of like he's on benefits, he doesn't want a job, he looks like a slob, doesn't treat his wife very well, he's always like, you know, hitting his kids kind of over the head and stuff like that. And it... Men still seem to take on the role of I need to be dominant, I need to deal with the finances, I need to deal with getting a car, getting a house, having a good job, making enough money. And then like I regained all the weight I lost and all that and I was like, well that is that quite upsetting? Yes it is, but then I joined all these things. I joined Bolt, joined Radio Cali and I'm so much happier than I was like back then. Like I don't like to talk about it but at the same time I'm just so much happier and I'm like I don't even care. I realised <laughs> that there's more to being happy than 
the way you look and it's now the things I'm doing which are so much better.